Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Well, you know, there is no uh, smoke without a fire somewhere. And that's one thing. And the other one is don't draw attention to an issue uh, by denying it without being any uh, pressure put on you. Because then you just draw attention and people might ask you, why did you feel necessary to just introduce yourself in the issue and deny it? Like, for instance, some, something happens at your neighbor's house, the police is over there, you know, they tape everything and uh, investigators, detectives, forensic team, they're over there investigating and you see that and uh, you go over there and you, excuse me, excuse me, and everybody looks around. Yeah, excuse me, I just want you to know that it was not me who did whatever happened here. Everybody's going to be like, oh, well, go and talk to this guy. All right. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me. Excuse me. Why would you need to go over there and say something when you were not asked about it? Or if you were asked about it, why do you uh, feel the need to react? Sometimes non-reaction is better than reacting and denying something, obviously. Why? Because you can always change your mind. If you say, well, it was uh, white, and then you, after that you say, oh shit, I shouldn't have said that. Excuse me, uh, I made a mistake, it was black. Ah, nom, 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 nom. You lost credibility right there. But in this, instead of saying, I don't remember, that means you want to see how the wind blows. And then after the, you figured it out, you make a determination and said, yes, I, th I think I remember it was white. Remember, I think I remember. Those are key words. Because when you come back and say, well, I said, I think I remember. I didn't say, yes, it was white. Semantics. Very important weasel ways to get out of uh, garbage. Sorry, I have to give you little, little things that uh, I'm pretty sure you were aware of. And if you're not, no problem. So what do we have here? We have here a guy that looks very much like a uh, whoo hoo You're going to see. Uh, and I'm, I'm, I'm not stereotyping uh, anybody. All right, but I can't, I can't also ignore my experience. Uh, I will not actually uh, get rid of my experience, life experience, just because I'm not stereotyping. So if I see something long and slithering through the grass, I might think that could be a, a venomous snake. I'm not going to say, oh, it was a harmless snake. Uh, no. So the same here. Let me show you. We have this guy coming from a cream form right here. Now you look at this guy, I'm not saying anything, but what does that tell you? Marlon Brando? Anyway, it's not about being handsome. Uh, all right, anyway, maybe just a, uh, how do you call it, a professional defect on my part. Enemy amassing forces in Marinka sector for further assaults, this General Tarnavsky says. Well, you say, so what's so important here, Emil? What's going on? Because he said uh, an hour earlier than this, remember? It's 8.58 p.m. About an hour, actually two hours. At 19.03, he says, claim that Russians have captured Marinka is false. Commander, the same guy. All right, so the same guy comes over. Right? And he says, uh, uh, but this is the, the second one. This is actually the first one. When he said, claims that Russians have captured Marinka is false. So that's a, it's false. He needs to come and tell us at 7.03 p.m. And then he comes at 8.58 p.m. the same day. Right? He comes and says, enemy amassing forces in Marinka sector for further assaults. So that means, I think, based on my experience, that he's just postponing a piece of news, a bad piece of news, mind you. That is, these guys took over, but hey, keep fighting. But I'm, I can't say that. The Russians are saying they took over Marinka. What can we do? The easiest way to do is to actually go and read a little bit the articles, see uh, why is he saying it ain't so, or why the Russians or whomever claims that they lost in Marinka already, and check some maps. I got two maps. 
one from the Russians, one from the Ukrainians. And guess what? The Ukrainians are actually going to confirm the claim. Visual confirmation. I will show you. I will show you. So let's go to this, the second one. The one that actually covers up for the first one. All right. Let's start with the second one. Russian troops are amassing forces near Marinka, Donetsk region, for further assault operations. They're going to let us know in a week that they lost. General Alexander Tarnavsky, Tarnavsky, the commander of Tavria, Tarnavsky Tavria, operational and strategic grouping of forces, said this in a post on a Telegram messaging app. Marinka Axis, the work to hold back the enemy near Novomikhalivka and Krasnohorivka continues. 11 attacks were repelled. Near Marinka, the enemy is amassing forces for further assaults. The commander said. So in a week he can say, well, th remember those forces I was talking about? They just overwhelmed us or whatever. We, uh, he's not going to say that. He's going to say, we uh, decided that we accomplished our mission. That's why we pulled back. <laughs> you I saw that in Mariupol. He also noted that the enemy continues to spread disinformation and stage provocations about the alleged complete capture of the city. And I'm quoting, the defense of Marinka is ongoing. Tarnavsky said, well, uh, depends now. Let's take, let's take this picture right here, right here. Uh, you like this picture? All right. So you see that's a woman with two something and two arms over there. Okay. So is there any, I don't know, uh, what happened here? Oh, I was too focused on that one. Okay. We're going to go to the next one. <laughs> this head right here. I hope, I hope they're not going to do the same thing. So this round head right here. Okay. Now you can say this round head has some, I know, some um, blue on it. Well, uh, really there's no blue on it. I don't see any blue. I see some green eyes. I see the face. I see, you know, white. I see some brown. You know, that's, that's, that's how much I can see on his face. Now, it doesn't mean, you know, that I'm not seeing outside of his head some blue right here. You see the blue right here? So, actually, that's part of his face. This is what he says. He says, this is, this is Marinka, and they're still defending Marinka from here. You see? So, let me show you now the map. Let's start with the Russian map, which is not going to be very conclusive. Right here. Russian map. You would expect that Marinka will show uh, conquered and blah, blah, blah. So, Marinka is right here, not too close, you see, you can't see too much, but I will give you the other map from the Ukrainians, it's going to be very clear. They say here that battle group Yug hammered Ukrainian troops and equipment using artillery strikes, Russian air defenses shot down several Ukrainian, Ukrainian drones. This is from the 13th, today of December. So, you see that little lake, if you don't see it, let's go to the real Rhine. What the hell? What's going on with you? All right. Now she doesn't let me leave me alone. See, so that's the same map as the one that I uh, showed here, but this is the Russian map of the war, and this is the Ukrainian map. So we go to Marinka, which should be right here. This is Marinka, or right, is this? Now you see Marinka. You see where you see this color? That means that's Russians over there. When you don't see that color. That means that's Ukrainian out there. Now you tell me, looking at this map, this is the guy's head. Imagine this, the, 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 yeah, the red, red stuff is, is the guy's head that I showed you here, right? And then they claim that it's not over because why? Because why? This right here? Is this what we're talking about? Is this why Marinka is not conquered? Is this little houses? Right there, that's all that is not conquered, right here. That is all that is not conquered from, let me show you the city. Is the city red? I think so. Is it, that means it's Russian? I think so. So this is the city, right here. And I keep going east, I keep going east, until the end of it. Right, so it's, and right here, it's all this Marinka, Livnivka and all that, because Marinka is just right here. Uh, right here is Olivnivka, Oleksandrivka, I'm sorry, Oleksandrivka is right here. Right, so this is Oleksandrivka and this is Marinka. So if I just zoom on Marinka, which is this, now you tell me where is not conquered? Just this part right here, just this part, this 
35 houses. That, that's all what it is. And they tell me here, no, actually, uh, my head has some blue on it right there. Please, my friends, please. Let's don't uh, turn full retards here. And this one with the claim that Russian have captured Marinka is false. Again, I'm going to make it bigger and I'm going to leave you with this on the map. Right? Right there. This is Marinka right here. I mean, if you think that Marinka is not taken, okay, well, then his head is blue. The Russians are assembling forces. It's the same thing. It seems like the containment of the uh, enemy continues in the areas of pop, 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 11 attacks, the same thing. So this is actually the same thing a little bit earlier, as I said, 7.03 p.m. versus this one with at uh, 8.58 p.m., the same date. Now let's vote. Do you think Marinka is conquered by the Russians? Who says yes? Raise your hand now. Who said no? Said uh, raise your hands now. And who and any abstentions? Uh, uh, anybody abstains? No. Okay then. Abstains. I think it's over. But then they can't just say yes. Just keep your mouth shut. Why do you have to say it? Because the Russians are pushing propaganda. You know your warriors would not believe the Russians, right? Anyway, my friends, here it is with, uh, with this piece of information. I think Marinka is gone, which I didn't expect. I expected uh, to see the Ukrainians claim that not Marinka is over, but Avdivka, which is north of Marinka. Let me show you. Marinka. Marinka! All right. So here is Avdivka. Uh, I'm sorry, Marinka is right here. And I thought that Avdivka is going to be right here. This is Avdivka. But most of the city is untouched. You see, most of Avdivka indeed is untouched. But the Russians will just, once they cross this little uh, railway tracks here or whatever, and they go here around, this is the, the last route of supply for the uh, Ukrainians. Once, that's done, once that is done and this is closed, it's over. They don't even have to fight the... The, the, in the city like they fight here in Marinka, which is clearly the city is done. But hey, we're going to wait a week until they're going to come and say, yeah, you know what? Yeah, it's done. Sorry. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth and be just.